Hi there, welcome on the second part of the solar tutorials. Um, today we're going to learn how to actually show facets and to create search pages. Uh, so let's start. We continue with um, our ending of last week. We have an empty uh, Drupal uh, site. So we can see in a structure we have, if it works, yeah, normally two content types, an article, and a basic page. Our goal for today, or for now, is to create a search page where you can find blog posts based on their date and based on the author. For that, we need a little trick, and we're going to generate content. So using the module devil, we're going to generate content. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download devil. All right, uh, you can see I have two tabs uh, on my computer. The first one is solar. I have it already running. We learned about this last time. And then we have our Drupal site and using Drush, I'm downloading Devil. You can also go to drupal.org slash project slash devil. You can download it, drag it into your module directory, and then you can find it in your modules list. So if everything went well, we can find it here in Devil, development, Devil and Devil Generate. We will enable both of them. Click Save. Right. Now in our configuration, we should find oh, here. Generate users because we need like different authors for our blog post. We will generate 10 users. Um, well, this doesn't really matter. Okay, let's generate. Then we will also generate content. Uh, we only want articles. Um, well, let's go for the extreme. Let's go for 100. That's not that extreme, but still. And we can go for one year back. Um, this will help us in our facets to sort from today until one year back, and then we can drill down into the options. Comments per node, we currently don't care, so let's generate. It takes a little while. And then if everything went well, you can see that we have blog posts with different authors. All right. So now we want to index this into our solar search. And we can see that we have zero items indexed and we have 100 items remaining. All right. So we can also see that here in the bottom we have two types of content that we can possibly index, which is the article and the second one is the basic page. We'll index both of them, but we are mainly interested in the article. So index all contents. Okay, we can index all remaining. This should be pretty quick. And if we refresh, we can see that we have zero items in our index and 100 are sent but not processed. This is because it takes for the standard solar config around two minutes to process the updates. Um, no worries, we will check out our search page to figure out where it will end up. So if you have noticed, I clicked on pages, blocks tab, and we have two core search pages or two default search pages. The first one is our search page. The second one is a disabled search page that can override the taxonomy term pages. We will not uh, go into depth here. We'll just take a look at our core search page. So what, we do, what do we have as options? We have a description um, because it's the only search page. This is the default. We can also say if we ever do this, if we ever enable multiple solar servers in our website, we can say to which solar server this search page belongs to, give it a title, a path. This is all by default. We won't discuss the custom filter yet. And then in advanced search page options, you can see or set how many results per page you want. You can enable spell check. Um, and then you can actually tell Solar what to do whenever an empty search 
is executed. What is an empty search? Whenever you go to the search slash site to this path, you will see, at least by default, only the enabled facet blocks if they are enabled under the search box. All right. Um, if we want to show the facet blocks in their comp in their uh, region, and if we want to show the first page of all available results, we will select this one. I like the last option. Um, you can experiment with them if you want. And for now, I'm going to enable this. Of course, we now have said we, we want the facets in their regions, but we didn't define any facet yet. Um, so we have to go to modules and enable facet API. I went also back to our index because two minutes have passed and we can see that we have 100 items indexed and 100% has been sent to the server. All right, so let's take a look at our search page right now. This is our search page. Already items can be found. Um, if we type in a word that is wrong, we already get our did you mean function, but we don't have our facets yet. So let's go to modules. I go down to Facet API here in the bottom. Uh, just to note, I downloaded this in the first uh, screencast. It should already be there. If it's not there, you can easily find it on Drupal.org. Enable it. It tells us we also have to enable case tools. No problem. We go for it. Continue. And then if everything went well, we can go back to our Apache Solar search settings. Go to our pages. We can see oh, no difference here. But in our settings, we have a new link facets. We can enable facets per environment. This is important to remember if you play with multiple environments, if you set it up with Acquia Search and you also have a local environment at home, um, your configuration for the facets will be different. Click on facets. And now we have a whole new configuration page that has some default facets. So we want author. We also want the post date. Um, and for now, that's it. If you want to play around with the content of the facet, you can do so now. Um, and otherwise, we'll get back to this in another screencast. Okay, so we enabled our facets and now we should go to our structure blocks to drag and drop or to select where each facet should go to. So here we have our facet API author, facet API post date. We're gonna say, okay, put it in our sidebar first and save. Let's quit here. And I'm going to go back to our main search page. Remember that we set our setting for our advanced search page to show the first page of all the results and the facets in their respective region. This is already so. We have our filter by author. We have our filter by post date. You can see we have from May 2011 until April 2012. Let's go for one in November. Let's go for November 12th. Apparently there was one in 1 a.m., 1.22. This is this one. Say I want everything from author Nick and from November 2011, we can see this is only one result. So now we have our facets running and I assume you know how to explore more in depth. Um, but this is all it takes to get basic facets and basic solar search indexed and basic facets running. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next screencast.